Thrown onto an island, filled to the rim with snow and a bit of cold, all I could do was turn for a place of warmth. But I needed gear. I needed stuff to survive. So I headed to the nearest military base. I was close. I could feel the pressure rise. My heart beat pumping. Everything felt eerie. I was this close, and I had to watch my step in his world. Upon entering the compound, there was an eerie silence. Only a couple of zombies, but nothing that really matters. I was on a search for a weapon and clothing. Out of the blue, I met this crazy guy. He just stumbled out of nowhere. He spoke like he thought I knew the other guy. I hurried on onto the roof to see what was gonna happen. Everything felt weird. I needed to get down. I needed to hide. This place was full of people, all strangers to each other, with only one thing on mind, to kill. My mission to get a weapon and clothing was still a priority. While sneaking around inside the compound, I found a guy knocked out on the floor of this little building. I did the only thing necessary to survive. I took his gear and left, but not without a fight. My health was low, and I was freezing. I needed a place to stay for the night. I came across this little town, empty and not looted. I needed bullets for my shotgun and food and water. Whilst looting the town, a little stranger came by, looking for the same stuff I was. And I knew I was in a vulnerable position. So in my best interest, I did what was necessary. The guy was packed with stuff that I needed. Bullets, food, water, and clothing. I knew I needed to sleep. I was exhausted, cold. I went to sleep on the second floor of the building that I shot the guy in. Woken up by distant shots, I once again had a night with barely any sleep. But I needed to move on anyway. Another pair of footsteps once again. I was still in the same position. I knew what was needed to be done. I'm sorry. I needed shelter, a place to warm myself up because I was freezing. With my trusted weapon, I went on a hike to find what I needed the most. After running for a while, I came across what looked like a heli crash. Smoke high in the sky and stars as bright as heaven itself. Something was... eerie. 
Something was not right. I ducked myself in a bush, sat there for a while, looked around, scouted the area. After five minutes of waiting, a guy I barely missed came running. My heavy finger on the trigger was on the lookout, and I was ready to press it at any moment. been cold long enough I needed to go I needed to move on and I needed to be warm after a while of running I came to a little shed in which I knew was gonna be the place for my fire Finally, what I've been longing at the most was finally a reality. as well but I'm just a kid just a kid and I'm wondering when I'm gonna die when I'm gonna die it ain't for me and it ain't for you so soon we all love and lie sitting by a campfire I'm feeling crazy when I'm sitting now by myself all alone all alone I'm wondering when I'm able to take off this crown I'm not always feeling like this But right now I'm kind of feeling down Sitting by a campfire I'm feeling all alone Looking for a situation Where the life is really not unknown Putting table and a cutlery down Waiting for the food to cook Because I'm all alone, all alone And I'm waiting all alone Sitting by a campfire No one is coming home Looking for that someone special But for me it's unknown Please help me now Kind of sick of it all I'ma tell you To wave one more last goodbye 